No! Oh my god! Let's face it, I've become an anime channel. Between the music, the visuals, the storytelling, everything about anime has completely blew the cum out of me. So here today, we're gonna continue my Demon Slayer journey. We already reacted to the first episode a few days ago, so here today, we're gonna check out episode 2 and episode 3. After this video, I may do 3 episodes per video, I'm not sure yet, but that's all up to y'all. Would you rather want 1, 2, or 3 episodes per video? video let me know down below but enough with all this chatter let's continue the journey episode two trainer sankoji oro kadoki she's so cute i never called the demon cute but oh she is the cutest thing i've ever seen in my life oh see i was like how how is she gonna fit? I love how happy he is. His sister is a fucking demon and he's still smiling. Oh my god. So Nezuko's like Santa Claus. You know how Santa Claus goes down the chimney? You're like, how the fuck does this fat ass motherfucker go down the chimney? I'm guessing he's a demon. No wonder why I always got shit on Christmas. I can't get over these visuals. It's next level. I want to live here. This kid has just gone through hell and he still has a smile on his face. He literally saw his family eaten alive. His little brothers and sisters dead on the floor, ripped into shreds. And this guy is smiling. Oh god. Talk about a bad day. I knew it. I knew it! I knew it! I was like, yeah, let's run towards... Oh god. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh my god. <laughs> Bro, do you hear this music right now? This emotional setup. Oh, that was sick! Oh my god! Oh my god, that was so sick the way the fire went out. And he hits him like, oh god. Oh my gosh, she sees the family that she had that died. Fuck. Oh my gosh, she's gonna go beast mode right now. Oh! Oh my god! the titans and attack on titan this girl says i don't need to become a titan to like, feel kick your head off so she has like supernatural abilities now she could run fast grow fast she could diminish fast she has super strength bro if she starts flying this will be my favorite show of all time <laughs> from now on when i tell someone to give me head this is what I expect. I expect them to take their fucking head off. His head grew arms. He looks like Geodude right now. The Pokemon Geodude. No! This dude practices all day banging his head against the fucking wall. No. Oh. Is that a man? Oh, I'm like, Nezuko just turned into a man? That's a man hand. He just used his head. He uses his head enough, literally. I thought this guy was about an air bend. Oh my god. Yo. This guy makes corpses voice sound like a kitty cat. You gotta love this right here. He saw his family got destroyed by a demon. Literally, a demon killed them. It wasn't a bear. It was a demon. A demon killed them. His sister's a demon. But he still sees a heart. He still sees something in demons like they're people. Like he doesn't want to kill them. He doesn't want to kill in general. That is a strong person right there. And I'm already loving this character. Like, he's not a pussy at all. Like, the exact opposite. And that would mean he's a dick. He's not a dick. He's an actually, he's a nice guy. Oh my god, is he gonna let the sun kill him? Exactly. Imagine that. Ripping someone's head off doesn't kill them. Just show them sunlight. 
Why is she so cute? Hisuko. Like, uh, uh, why am I gonna cry? I just met her. This guy's praying. This guy's doing his rosary beads while a demon just died in front of him. Oh my god, he buried the pe- Oh, god. I like this guy. I can't believe how good this storytelling is. The emotion in the eyes. Uh, I love this. Hey. Everything about this show is just mind blowing. The animation, the characters, the dialogue, the storytelling. Look at this scenic shot right here. Just two people running, but there's so much going on. It's like an art piece. It's like a like a portrait in the background. It's so incredible. Uh, flashbacks. Just, oh, god. <laughs> oh my god, this dude just ran the country. And now he wants him to climb a mountain. Look at this. Oh my god, I swear. I'm gonna have an orgasm just looking at this animation. Look, look at the, the trees and the leaves. This is like live action. Look at this. The emotion in the voice actor's voice. You feel like he's actually dizzy. Don't tell me it's just gonna disappear, please. Please, guys, guys. Don't say it like it's easy, bro. You know, no, 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 no. You know this is gonna be a challenge, you know. <laughs> it's gonna be easy. This dude just took a tree to the back of his head and he got up like it was nothing. Like he got hit with a with a rubber band. This guy can smell, but he can't even breathe. Listen to him. He sounds like a pig stuck in a fence. Don't say that. What'd I say? The whole animation changed mid-scene! His fight for his sister and his family is gonna get him through everything. Oh my god. Dude, my heart, I can literally have chills through my body right now. That was beautiful. Oh, he sees it now. I thought the crow was talking for a second. Oh my god. Oh. So they both have that sense of smell. There's something there. The storytelling. Characters aren't even speaking. It's just emotion and their expressions. You can't even see the guy's face. Oh my god! It's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna end now, isn't it? Episode 3, Sabiro and Makomo. Oh, he's passing it. He's the main character. He's passing it. Don't you notice, bro? I love Tanjiro. I love his voice. Got this shit in the bag! Damn. This is how you train someone. You throw fucking knives at them. And if they die, they die. They weren't meant for this. Literally, imagine he fell into that pit. The show would have been over. That's one thing I haven't seen in this show yet. Comedy. I'm wondering if there's like some likeness in this show. Dude, you don't need a sword. You have your head. Just give him like a special helmet. Nah, that was your mistake in the first episode. Do you really believe, Tanjiro, that you are gonna run up to this old man that is training you, that has set booby traps throughout a forest and a mountain? Do you really think you're gonna run up to him and hurt him? So we got some like water bending, some bending in this show. You piqued my interest, bro. This show is just gonna get better and better. He's gonna turn into the Avatar soon, probably. <laughs> just beat the living shit out of him until he learns his lesson. This guy really loves his sister. Oh my god, she's in hibernation. Literally, she did everything. I don't care if she sleeps for the rest of the show. Imagine that, bro. If you woke up and you found out she was dead, you wouldn't know because the demons disappear when they die. So you wouldn't even know she's dead. God, I want to buy a tent and just move on to this mountain. This place is beautiful. Oh. oh my god, a year 
We just went through a year of training, thank oh, cool. God. Bro, imagine they did like a 20 year time lapse and he's just like a whole new character now. Like he has a full beard and he's limping from life support or some shit. Start him out with, with, with a piece of wood, bro. Straight up telling him, you see this, this building sized boulder? Slice it in half. Just use your head. Fuck the sword. Yeah. We all knew that was gonna happen. So this show does have humor in it. Oh, I thought that was Tomiyoko. Better get cancelled right there. That dude said, You're not a man. You're, 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 why are you whining? That's not manly. Motherfuckers better get cancelled. You're gonna see his name trending on Twitter. Damn, just keep drilling it in his head. Literally. <laughs> just call him an ugly piece of shit while you're at it. Tanjiro, you know what happens when you question people. You always fall on your ass. Don't even question it. If he was using his hand as a sword, don't question it. Or his finger. This guy could have went up to you like this. Oh. Oh, was he... Was he trained? Put two and two together, Tanjiro. You're a smart man. You know, Tanjiro... In the first episode, threw a hatchet in the air, threw rocks, acted like he was coming after the guy with the hatchet, but he was faking it. You would expect that guy to know shit like this. Put two and two together, bro. This guy's attacking you. He's talking about Mr. Urukudoko. He has a wooden sword. He's talking about breathing techniques. This ain't normal terms. Moto. 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 That's like the only <laughs> Japanese word I know because of Attack on Titan. Everyone was like, Moto. Moto. <laughs> Battles in this show are so physical and so well animated. You feel the hits. Um, oh, all the girls in the show are cute. Anime girls are just cute. Fuck humans. I want a little anime girl. Little. Oh, that sounded very bad. I meant like a like a whatever. I don't even know. What, I'm about to cry. what the fuck is wrong? With me? Bro, that guy is literally just a side character. You're gonna be better than him, don't worry. Dude, if a girl like this came up to me with a sword, I would be way too distracted by her cuteness. And I'd be like, listen, you could slice my fucking head in half right now. You'd see my head on the floor with a tear in my eye and a smile. Oh, now they have backstories. Oh, God. There's no normal child. Everyone has a backstory. Oh, I want to see Tanjiro. I want to see his veins popping out. I am ready to see God mode Tanjiro. God Jiro. Wow, we're doing another time job, bro. Is this six months or six years later? <laughs> you look like a pussy before. Now you a man, boy. Oh my God, he looks even better now. Now I can take him serious. I like this hair. He did the thing! We got Gonjiro now! Uh-huh! He's gonna smile, yep. You made daddy proud. Aw, oh, he's cute too. Don't tell me they were ghosts this entire time. Oh no. Oh no! Oh my god! I have to take my context now. Oh no, I'm gonna cry. I can't get over how beautiful this show is. This show is literally a yearbook quote. Like, I feel like everything that is done, everything that is said, is some yearbook quote material that people will remember you by forever. The animation, the dialogue, the conversations between the characters, the double meanings, characters that we just meet, we have 10 minutes with, and they make you cry, they make you emotional, they make them so relatable so fast. That is the work of a true genius, of someone that really knows their art. And whoever created this show, they know what the fuck they're doing because 
you had me feeling for characters that literally symbolized a boulder. Sabito, Sabido, whatever the fuck his name was, he symbolized that boulder. That's what Tanjiro had to go up against. But the symbolism, the references, the overall aesthetic of the show, the message of the show is just so fantastic and so moving. Like, it motivates me. All I know is, I'm gonna catch up on this show before the show ends, because it's not ending anytime soon. But that's it for today's video. I love you guys so much. I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Goodbye.